What is up guys, Tony here, Positive Tech Reviews in the building. It's going to be a follow-up video on the Moto G6. I got this phone uh, May 30th, 2018. And this video is being shot today, which is June 11th, no, June 10th. Today is June 10th. So I had this phone for about 11 days now. So I can uh, give you guys some feedback as far as to how it's been working out for me and all that good stuff so let me go ahead and wipe it down real quick so you guys can have a good look at it so here it is right here the moto g6 this is a very nice phone i i actually really really like this phone um i've been using it as my main phone so that's saying a lot right there i have encountered some issues which i'll get to here in a minute but as far as uh cameras go uh, the cameras are re real good on here it's just, you know when taking still shots now if you're doing video recording um i rec highly recommend that you use either uh some sort of handheld tripod or you know car mount like like i'm like i'm using now or um just have very steady hands because it does not have any optical image stabilization either camera doesn't have any optical image stabilization it doesn't have any uh electronic uh image stabilization you know software issues anything doesn't have anything like that on here so um it does have a 5.7 inch display and it only has three gigs of ram and that's a little bit disappointing and i'll get into that in a minute i'll tell you why um this is three gigs of ram 32 gigs of internal storage does have sd card support the display is very nice uh very visible outdoors and it only has one mono speaker but it's not by bottom firing it's firing from the earpiece so it sounds real good i think uh for consuming media it you know the sounds coming directly at you and it sounds real nice it's not a bad speaker at all it has uh some nice tones to it um the camera software on here is pretty simple um, there is a little bit of a delay when it comes to the shutter speed. Um, it's There's a little bit of delay. Um, let me see if I can show you guys real quick. Uh, let me see. Check it out. See, there's like a half a second delay. Um, it does sometimes take a little bit longer, but the video, the image quality is pretty good. Um, let me take a picture of my stream over here real quick so you guys can see. See, so it's like a second delay, half a second delay. And you can see the image is very nice. Uh, the screen is very, very nice also. There's no any kind of bleeding or any kind of light leakage. The screen is a 1080p display, LCD. And it is one of my favorite things on this phone is to look at this display. The display is very nice and crisp for a 1080p display. And being an LCD, it, the whites are pretty white and the blacks are pretty black. You know, it's a pretty good screen. I don't have any issues with the screen. Um, battery life on here has been real good. I've been getting average uh, every day almost since I've gotten it on May 30th. I've been getting about five hours. I, uh, five, I could get five hours of on-screen time. Five hours and 40 minutes is I think is like the most that I've gotten so far which is definitely great, and that's heavy usage. Um, I normally don't do five hours a day. I only maybe uh, two hours tops, maybe on a regular day or an hour and a half on a regular day of uh, usage. I basically do social media apps, Twitter, Instagram. I do some YouTube video watching. I don't edit on my phone, so that does consume a little bit more if you edit videos on your phone, um, but I don't do any of that. I just basically browse the web, interact with my social media accounts and watch YouTube videos and take some pictures and videos. Um, I do listen to music also. I don't have any music on here, but I do listen. I stream music a lot um, with my car. So I'm also happy that it does have the headphone jack. So the headphone jack right now, I'm in my car right now and it does have Bluetooth, but it also has um, the auxiliary plug, which I always plug in. I have a matter of fact, so you guys know that I'm legit. Got it right here. I always plug it in. Boom. And I listen to my music that way in my when I'm in my car. Um, 
so I do use the headphone jack. I need the headphone jack, especially in this vehicle, um, when I want to listen to music. But so far, man, it's been a great phone, man. I have encountered some lag, unfortunately. Um, it was, you know, other than other than the lag that I encountered, which I'm about to get into, this phone is spectacular. I love the modal actions. I love the twisting to activate the camera, the chop, the chop to activate the flashlight. Um, I love all the features on the Motorola actions. I like that. I like that. It also has uh, Dolby, Dolby Audio, which I'll get into. I do have mine turned on. It does have Dolby Audio, so the sound quality comes out real good when you're using headphones. And also when you plug into your car, sounds real good. No complaints on on the headphone jack. Um, I'm not like an audiophile or anything like that, but I, you know I, the music sounds good coming out of here and also coming out from the speaker on the earpiece. So yeah, this this phone right here has been it's really been real good. I can also play FM. I do have an FM radio built in with the phone, which I thought was awesome. If you're in those places where you're not having great connection, you can just you know go with the, with the radio with the FM radio if you don't want to use a lot of data if you're like on limited data or something then you can just plug in and rock with the fm radio that you know um gps i have tested um i do my uh google fit so google fit it tracks you with your gps it tracks your location and everything and i used this yesterday as a matter of fact excellent man the gps is great um front facing camera does have eight megapixels uh, no optical image stabilization on the back it does have a 12 megapixel camera and then it has a 5 megapixel camera for the bokeh effect excellent man the cameras are real good um let me see if i have some photos on here which i know i do um i can show you real quick the cameras are real nice the front facing camera is pretty good um i had some issues with um live streaming like i always do i think i don't think it's the phones i think basically it is my T-Mobile connection. I think uh, T-Mobile connection has a lot to do with it. Um, yeah, the, I'll, I'll show you. I have uh, some photos that I took. And the camera is real nice. The camera is real nice. Check that out. Camera is real nice. I took this photo of my LG G7. I'm not sure if it's doing any justice with um, being in the car. and <clears throat> But cameras are real good. Front-facing cameras are actually real nice. I'll take one real quick you guys can see it doesn't have portrait mode unfortunately front facing I, I wasn't able to find portrait mode um let me see so we do have group selfie so it takes a little wide uh, pictures in and then that combines them together slow motion time lapse youtube live which i did not know that check it out youtube live I didn't even know that this was on here. I may have to jump on this real quick. I, I don't know how I missed it. But yeah, YouTube Live and face filters. That is the front facing camera. And let me see, I don't, that's pretty nice. Uh, if I go to the settings, uh, it does have a photo size 16 by nine. You can do the 12. You can do, see. you can see them there. It does have a four by three. 12 megapixels and then as you, as you go get a little bit wider it brings down the resolution to 9 and you know starts dropping off like that when you go to 18 by 9 it'll go down to 7 and then 16 by 9 it'll go down to 6 so that is the camera now if you go in video mode um you can see that this does record in 60 frames per second at 1080p so that is awesome that is capable no that's the rear camera i apologize it, that is uh the rear camera 60 frames per second is the top is the max recording that you can get on the rear camera and then if we switch over to the front camera it is mech is a eight megapixel camera and you can see there you have the four by three and then if you go wider it'll it'll drop down uh megapixel count so that is that and then if you go into the video portion it only records at 30 frames per second so a little bit of a downside but not it's not a big deal if you're you know this phone is only like 249 and you can pick it up and swap it at i mean not swap but you can pick it up at 
Project 5 for $199. And then phone storage, you can add SD card. Let me see right there, SD card. So real nice. Let me go ahead and switch to the camera. I want to switch to the back camera and I want to see if we have. So yeah, we do have the YouTube Live on the rear camera and the front facing camera so that is sweet man i didn't know that i kind of missed that let me see if i flip it over yeah it also is on the front camera so i gotta test that out i haven't tested that out. i'm gonna do a separate video just on that but yeah overall the phone's been real good i'm using i'm using a different launcher but i was always using a stock launcher that came with it, it if you swipe over it gives you the google now cards and this is just one that I just started. I just started putting this one on there. This one is the Rootless Pixel Launcher. Great. They're both, both launchers are excellent. I just like, I prefer this one because I, you know, I just want to change it up a little bit. They're both real good launchers. Um, let me see what else. Um, I do like the widget that it comes with. Uh, let me switch launchers real quick. The widget that it comes with when you get it uh, out of the box let me see if i can find it apps and notifications default apps i'm gonna go ahead and switch to the default launcher for a second and i'm going to show you okay so i like that widget the widget that comes with it i'm right now i'm just testing out the rootless pixel launcher on here see how it's working out and i did notice one thing which i'm going to get to i'm going to touch on so this is the launcher that it comes with if you swipe over gets you into the google cards it's pretty clean very clean very fast very fluid and i like the look of it too um so while i was testing out the ruth rootless pixel launcher it's an apk i siloed on here i went ahead and installed the pixel live wallpapers and i'm not going to do it on video because i don't want to embarrass the phone but oh my goodness it was lagging lagging big time so um, that's where I saw it lag, which I've never seen it lag before. Let me see if I could mimic that. I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. I'm going to go ahead and try it and suck it so you guys can see with me um, what I noticed that why it was lagging. It was lagging like crazy. Let me go back. Okay. Moto, I'm going to go back to the Pixel Launcher. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into the live wallpapers. Go here. And then I go into the wallpapers and I, I kind of silo, I added these. You can see here, let me go back. You can see here, I got the live wallpapers. So if I tap on it and then I'll pick this one here and it's going to add it. Let me, let me see if it'll add it. It's going to set wallpaper and I've set it to both home screen and lock screen. And here's where it starts to lag. You can see it as I swipe over. It's not as smooth. It's kind of a, it's kind of Yankee, and you see it, and you see it throughout the operating system when you start using live wallpapers. Um, it starts to slow down, and you, you, it starts to hiccup. It starts to hiccup here and there, and you could definitely see it slowing down. Like the live wallpapers are something that I don't recommend on this phone. Let me show you the one that I was actually using. That lagged out big time was well, the stock one that can't that's on the pixel launcher this one all right this is the one that i started using it just to test out the live wallpapers and it was just really see that how slow that was this one really lags it out so the live wallpapers i do not recommend down here man it was it was see how, it, see how slow it got like this live this uh live wallpaper really um, open my eyes to the three gigs of RAM and see, I don't game a lot on this phone. So if you're buying this phone to game on, um, I would definitely, you know, if you're, I'm not, I don't know. I would, if you're, if you're like a heavy gamer, like if you're gaming PUBG and stuff like that on here, I, I can't recommend this phone. It's only got three gigs of RAM. You need to step your game up and get something with at least four gigs and maybe, uh, man, it's lagging. Look at that. That's where I noticed it lag big time. Um, maybe something with a different processor. Uh, I think the 450, the Snapdragon 450 that's on here. And the 3 gigs of RAM is 
not going to be a good combination for gaming. Straight up. Um, I, I played, I, what did I play on here? Um, Subway Surfer. And yeah, um, it's it's good for regular stuff that like I mostly use. I'm not a gamer, so I mostly don't game on them. But I mostly just do, like I mentioned, uh, YouTube um, videos and, and social media apps, calls and stuff like that. For, for that, this phone is excellent. If you're not a gamer, if you're not a mobile gamer, this phone is excellent. Only thing I could recommend is do not install live wallpapers because they will bog this thing down, man. You can see, man, look at that. They just bog this thing down. They can't handle. They cannot handle live wallpapers. So if you know, it, it just does something to the system. It can't handle it. So let me get out of here. Let me go back to my standard wallpaper, um, which is this green one here. This is the one that comes with the stock. And I'll show you how quick this is now. Look, see the difference. You change the wallpaper. The wallpaper does a big does a big difference on here so anyways um other than that this thing is pretty good uh won't recommend it for gaming if you're a mobile gamer maybe if you're playing some less intensive games this will probably work great the like candy crush and stuff like that but if you're playing like uh shooter games and car games where there's a, just the graphics is intense don't do it um stay tuned for my next video which i will be doing um in a couple of days it's going to be on the moto g6 plus so i have the plus version coming in it's almost identical it has a slightly bigger display which is a 5.9 inch display compared to this 5.7 and that one does have four gigs of ram and it has a better processor which is a 630 stay tuned for that one also the battery is a little bit bigger on that one this one is a 3000 milliamp battery and the moto g6 plus is a 33 100 milliamp battery and i think the cameras are a little bit better speaker quality is better bigger battery um bigger display stay tuned for that video a usb type c on both this is not a bad phone man if you can pick it up for for like about 200 bucks you got a good deal this is a great phone um i do not recommend it for gaming uh, but it does have good audio i'll, I'll play some some music real quick so you guys can check it out. It does have good audio, which is great. I think the speakers are even a little bit better than what's on the OnePlus 6, simply because they're facing directly at me. And the tones are a little bit better. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and, and play something real quick. And you guys could get a sense of the speaker here. Um, it's, it's a good speaker. So let me go ahead and play this real quick. Hey, we're Root. And we can save you up to 52% off your current I'll insurance I'll turn the rates. volume up. Download the app. Take root for a ride today. Check it out. Check out the quality. Not on here. So yeah, the speakers on here are pretty good. Pretty damn good. I'm impressed with the speakers. Like I said, there's a lot of things that I like about this phone. And I'm going to go ahead and name them off real quick. And then the stuff that I don't like, you already know. The 3 gigs of RAM. The processor. The 450 process is a little bit weak three gigs of ram is a little bit weak but it does have some more positives that outweigh the neg negatives in my point of view like i said it does have adaptable storage big beautiful display usb type c great firing speaker great cameras i wish they had optical image stabilization but they're both great cameras for still shots um, i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there man this is an awesome phone right here i still recommend it like I said, I won't recommend it if you're a mobile gamer, but if you're just an average user who likes to do social media and take photos and do some videos, not bad at all. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.